It's a little weird for a guy to say another guy, but your pants are awesome. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, thank you. I know you know that. Okay. All right, guys. We're here with David Kay, the voice of Clank. So excited. Okay. So tell me what it was like when you first found out that they were going to turn Ratchet and Clank into a film and you're going to be doing the voice of Clank. They mentioned it a while ago, early on. It's been 14 years, right, in the, the, the franchise. But when it sort of became apparent that this is really going to happen, it's like, ah. All right. I, I, I always try to keep myself tempered. I'm kind of I, I get numb to those decisions because in Hollywood you never you know know until it's done and it's up on the on the screen. I'm like, oh, they actually made the movie. So um, I'm thrilled for everyone involved that uh, the film is uh, got you know it's, it's it's done. It's made, and so I'm anxious for people to see it because it's the original origin story. It's uh, you know there are a couple of aliens, but it's a very there's a very human quality about the relationship, and uh, I love the touching moments when I was reading the script and you know recording. It those those moments, the touching moments for me. Out of all the weapons and cool stuff, I went, oh, I really, I love that whole, oh, and I felt warm. I, I, you know. So I'm looking forward to seeing the whole thing myself. So, um, I, what I really love about this is they are redoing the origin story, like mm. you said. Uh, did you have any kind of like flashbacks the first time you recorded Clank? Oh yeah, doing some of that stuff. Yeah, it felt like I was tell, talking to someone earlier. It felt like you're putting on a comfortable pair of shoes. Like you're like, oh yeah, man, this is feels, this feels good. This is, I remember this. So. It was like going back to the beginning because uh, they were some great memories. The first time we started, we had no idea where this was going to go. And when you start a project, you have no idea. It's going to be 14 years for something. is It's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, uh, I heard on the panel that this is the first time you and James Arnold Taylor actually were in the room together recording after all these years. That's true. Yeah. we. Uh, I met him outside at some other screening or a function. I said, oh, so you're Ratchet. I see you're Clank. You know, and so I <laughs> said, should I get on your back? I don't know. I feel weird about that. Uh, but that's it's the first time, and for us to be in the studio together, we work in, in animations, in, you know, cartoons a lot. And I, I was I showed up on a Star Wars episode with him, uh, but he wasn't there that day. So, oh, are you kidding me? So we still, but so finally with Ratchet and Clank the film, we worked in the same studio together. Now, because I have this fantasy that you guys just hang out all the time. You're like the best bros ever. Is this is this not true? Uh, I uh, James and I are always in the same circles, and uh, when we get together, it's like old friends we've been you know, we've known each other for so long and we see each other in recording sessions and cartoons so there's that it's like hanging out together there I have I have friends in this business uh, that I do hang out with uh, a lot and I prefer to hang out with my animation friends so there's a whole group of us and it's like when we all get together we haven't seen each other even for a couple of years it's old home week Nice. So everybody's telling their voices and doing stupid jokes, and it's, yeah, it's fun. So what was your uh, what was your favorite thing about recording? Well, actually, this is what I want to ask you. Um, now you guys basically did a remake of the first game and also did this at the same time. Which one did you record first, and like how different were they? Because I know that the video game is more from Quark's perspective. Yeah, well, uh, the film script, it's back it's, uh, three, three years now, uh, three, four years, uh, and it, that started happening, and then they said, oh, the, the game's happening, and, uh, and it sort of was, some of it overlapped, so I knew and understood what was going on. Um, it, it was, it was no, there's, didn't, I don't know what the answer is for you there, but it was no real, uh, uh, it seemed seamless to me. You know what I mean? There was no clunkiness about it. It was, oh, we're doing the game as long as the film. It was, so we were already kind of rolling with it. That's a roundabout way of answering your question, I know. But. No, I mean, it makes sense.